Hey everyone, it's Ali Lindley here from One Number. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. A couple of months ago, I had to recertify. Uh, I had to get my Tableau Certified Data Analyst exam again. It expires once every couple of years. And there were a couple of things I thought were pretty interesting about the exam, and I wanted to share it with you guys. And hopefully, if you're gearing up to take the certification too, you would find it helpful, maybe a little bit interesting. Uh, my one disclaimer is that <laughs> what I'm going to tell you is not like leaking information from the center. It's all it's all online. Everything that I'm going to tell you is available online. You can find exam resources and things like that. There are there's super cool things out there in the community. Uh, the other thing is that uh, there are two certifications from Tableau that kind of get you to the same place, I guess. The Tableau Certified Data Analyst is the one that I did, and that looks at the family of Tableau products. Uh, from Tableau Prep all the way through to Tableau Cloud slash online, although it's very focused on Tableau Desktop. So those other two elements make up a small percentage of the exam. Tab the Tableau Desktop Specialist, I actually haven't written, but as far as I can tell, that one is very much focused on Tableau Desktop. So maybe if someone has written both and you can compare them for us, that would be really interesting to know. Maybe you can put that down in the comment section below. Um, I'd really appreciate that. So the first thing that I wish I'd known going into this exam was that there was going to be pretty specific uh, questioning on Tableau Cloud slash online and Tableau Prep. That was interesting to me. I thought it would be slightly more general. So my advice to you would be, especially with Tableau Cloud slash online, uh, spend some time clicking around, okay? Especially if you're a Tableau desktop person, you're here to build dashboards and things like that, and you don't spend a lot of time in Tableau Cloud, just fire it up, click through a couple of things, and see if you can work it out, right? Familiarize yourself with menus, with options, things like that. The question that I have that might be a useful prep question is how would you schedule an extract refresh on Tableau Cloud, okay? So I don't mean can you do it? Like if I give you Tableau Cloud with a lap on a laptop, you can click through, make the right selections. I mean, can you explain how to do it if you just wrote it down on a piece of paper? Okay, because there are there's a big portion of this test that is multiple choice. And I think this might be one of those that comes up in a multiple choice. Uh, you know, this that the Tableau Clouds slash online stuff would be tested in a multiple choice format. I think this would be a helpful thing to think through. Can you actually write it down on a piece of paper? Okay, the second thing would be how familiar are you with Tableau Prep? Now, you don't need to be a genius at Tableau Prep at all, but it would be helpful to have some Tableau Prep basics. If you want to level up with Tableau Prep, we've actually upgraded our Tableau Prep class from like an eight hour class to a 16 hour class. So it's full on because this tool has grown and improved so much over the last little while. We just wanted to keep up to date. So we're super excited about this class. We've got one coming up soon. And if you want to join us, we'd love to have you there. But we also have a suite of a whole bunch of other Tableau classes for you to take. If you're gearing up for this exam and you think, you know what, I just need some focused help. We'd love to, to have you. Um, some things that would be useful to think about in Tableau Prep is as you sort of connect your, you know, the different elements of your flow together, are you really able to describe what's going on, right? What is what is grouping in Tableau Prep? You know, what is that all about? Um, what actually happens in a in a clean step? How do you actually get the data from your Tableau Prep flow into Tableau Desktop? You know, they might seem like simple questions, but I think that's the kind of thing that might show up in this desktop analyst certification, a data analyst certification, mixing my certifications. The third thing would be how comfortable are you with Tableau calculations, uh, you know, it, meaning Tableau functions. So the way that this is tested largely is through multiple choice as well. So of course, there is a section where you build stuff, right? You sort of connect to a virtual machine and you build, you answer various questions that they prompt you with. But a lot of this is also multiple choice. And I think this is one of those elements that actually works quite well as a multiple choice question. So you might get some syntax. You might, you, you know, you might get something like date trunk, month, order date, three, and you need to select the right answer out of those three. I mean, out of like four options, I think it's A to D. Um, if you don't know 
what that would give you, you're not gonna really gonna be able to answer the question because you don't have the Tableau window, to, a calculated field window to play around with and see the different outcomes. This, likewise, you also might be prompted to say um, something like, how do you return X from this string? And you need to write out the function, but you don't have the little calculated field library telling you how each function works. Right, so that can be super, super interesting. Uh, maybe another helpful prep question would be, how would you return the customer last name from the customer name field in Sample Superstore? Bearing in mind that some of the customers like Darren Van Huff have two parts to their surnames, right? So you can't just right click and split. You would actually need to write a little function to get you that surname. So how would you do that? You know, questions like that would be helpful. But my encouragement, and I really think this will help you prep for the certification, is any challenges or questions that you set for yourself, write them down on a piece of paper, write the, the formula on a piece of paper before you put it into Tableau, so that you're, you actually have to put your thoughts down and you have to say, okay, I think this is gonna work. And then you basically just insert that into the Tableau calculated field and you go and you see what it gives you. You wanna get away from that feeling of, I'm dependent on being able to work this out through trial and error, but I can actually use my knowledge of the functions to my best ability. A very practical way you could learn these functions is just print them out of Tableau's website. I think they literally have a list of every single Tableau function. You can print them out, you can turn them into flashcards if you want, if you, you know, very unfamiliar with them and you wanna work them out, that can be super, super helpful in prepping for this certification. Okay, what about dashboarding? There are definitely questions on dashboarding. Um, think through dashboard objects. You know, if you look at your that new dashboard worksheet, I mean the new da dashboard um, page, <laughs> at the bottom left, you have a repository of all the dashboard objects. Now there are some of those that I've never used, genuinely in a dashboard. I've built so many dashboards, I've never used some of those objects. So you could feel a little bit unprepared when you're asked a question on one of those objects. You don't really know what it does. So make sure you play around with all of them, pull them into a dashboard, try and edit them, see what happens when you try and click on a menu and right, and you're trying to, you're trying to uh, work out all this stuff in a dashboard. Make sure you're familiar with all those objects. Do you know the difference between tiled and filter, tiled and floating objects? And can you pick them out just visually in a dashboard? Sometimes it can be tricky, sometimes not. Uh, but that's that would definitely be useful as well. Uh, anything else that goes with dashboarding? I would anticipate you might encounter a question on dynamic zone visibility, just given that it's you know it kind of came out almost two years ago now, actually, it's not that new, but it's still a big piece of functionality. Do you know how that would work and what what uh, sort of functions you'd need to get there? That might be helpful. Um, I think another piece of Tableau desktop knowledge that could be super useful is think about parameters and sets. How familiar are you with those? Setting up your parameters well, using the right data type, um, knowing how to add values from certain fields, knowing whether you need uh, all list or a range of values, uh, play around with those, that would be super helpful. And your sets, knowing how to combine sets together. When can you do that? When can you not do that? Um, when is a set dynamic? When is it static, right? Uh, how could you add a value to your set from the data pane or from your worksheet? You know, something like that. And related to that, I think uh, actions, dashboard actions, specifically all the actions that pertain to some of those things that we've built already, sets, parameters, filter actions. I could really see those uh, sort of coming to the fore in an exam like this, although you don't want to discount a highlight action or URL action. You want to make sure you know how those work too. So are you familiar with all the dashboard actions and can you pull them in? I think the last Tableau desktop specific thing that I have before, I, I think we've got two more general pieces of advice for you. The, the, the last Tableau specific thing is how f familiar are you with setting up and connecting to various data sources? Now, for those of you who work with data teams, who kind of curate and clean and organize your data for you and you're just connecting to the data source and pulling it into Tableau and doing your work there, 
this might be an area that you need to sharpen up on because there will be questions about this in that certification, I'm sure. Okay, if you do a lot of your own data prep, uh, this might be familiar to you, but it's worth saying. Do you know why you would use a relationship and not a join? Do you know how a join calculation works, a relationship calculation? What about cardinality and granularity in our relationships? That might be useful too. Um, okay, uh, two general thoughts. Well, one especially. Um, this exam is intended, or the certification is sort of assumes a level of comfort with Tableau over time. So if you've been working with Tableau in a particular use case, um, and maybe for not that long, you might have a very specific understanding of how Tableau works. That's awesome. That's fantastic. You'll really excel in this exam in those areas. But my experience was that it's quite broad. And so you might want to find different ways that you can sort of broaden that horizon on your Tableau knowledge. Now, my advice would be uh, to check out a platform like Workout Wednesday, where there's a specific challenge each week that you can try and build. I find that's a really nice way of making sure you don't have too many blind spots. Another way that you could improve this is by downloading someone's dashboard off of Tableau Public and then trying to rebuild it. I'm sure that you'll learn a lot about dashboarding and clever calculations and workarounds and things like that as you try as you try and like work backwards and see what they've done. I think those could be helpful. The last thing that I cannot recommend highly enough is go and do this certification in the official testing center. That that's my advice. Take it or leave it. I tried to take this exam three times uh, from home. And each time I was unable to complete the exam because the exam environment, you know, that virtual testing environment shut down on me. So one time I just I got halfway through the exam and the virtual machine shut down and I had to reschedule the exam. The next time I clicked something wrong on my keyboard, I don't know if it was a function button or something inconclusive and it just shut the exam and said that's the end of it. And you can't open it up. You can't appeal it. It's that's the end. Um, and you and you do have like someone watching you the whole time if you're working at home and people have reported cases of being shut down because they're sort of thinking out loud, uh, which is actually not allowed in that virtual testing environment. At least that was true when I was doing it. So my advice would be go to a testing center. If anything technical happens, you know, a technical issue, it's not your problem. Someone else is going to help you and they can sort it out. And I had such a wonderful experience at the testing center in comparison to doing it at home and online. And so that would be that would be my encouragement to you the, the fewer stresses you can you can sort of accommodate in your day, the better. Right. You're going to test better. You're going to think clearly. And and I'm sure it's going to give you the best results you can find. If you have more questions for me, you're welcome to put them in the comment section below. Hopefully this was helpful uh, and we'll check in soon. Awesome.